This is our first segment looking at the rabbis. There are going to be three rabbis. We've been placing everything on our timeline according to the temple event. Here is that timeline. The first rabbi that we want to look at is Rabbi Hillel. I want to place him on the timeline and then we'll talk about his details. Take a look at the timeline with Rabbi Hillel. As you saw in that timeline, Rabbi Hillel is born about 100, uh, 110 BCE and dies about uh, Common Era 10. He is one of two primary sages that influence the thinking of Judaism. And the other sage is Rabbi Shammai. We're going to look at him in our next segment. There are lots of interesting facts here about Rabbi Hillel. Um, he is estimated to have lived about 120 years, which makes him about the same age as Moses, according to the book of Deuteronomy. We also uh, realize that Rabbi Hillel becomes one of the recognized authorities for the Pharisees. And the Pharisees are the predecessors of Rabbinic uh, Orthodoxy, or Rabbinic Judaism. And uh, Rabbi Hillel looks at the contents of the Torah and he does some studies and he finds that Leviticus 19.18, the concept of brotherly love, love your neighbor as yourself, is a fundamental tenet of Torah. And so these are some of the things about him and why it's important that you understand what Rabbi Hillel is teaching, what Rabbi Shammai is teaching, and who we're going to talk about as Rabbi Yeshua or Rabbi Jesus and what he is teaching because all of these play an influence into the time period of Jesus. Because um, we can see that Rabbi Hillel teaches a version of the Golden Rule and it's written or stated like this. What is hateful to you do not do to your fellow. This is the whole of Torah. The rest is explanation. Go and learn. So uh, we're familiar with the concept of the golden rule if we're Christians, but we think of it as, as uh, Jesus teaching that. But Rabbi Hillel also has a concept like this as well, and that's very important. And uh, Rabbi Hillel, is, because he's a rabbi, he, he very much encourages the study of Torah, which would be the Bible at that time which is, he's working pretty much from the, what we would come to call the Tanakh, which is Genesis to Chronicles. Uh, and of course that's rearranged a little bit differently in the Christian canon. Now, one of the things that he has in his teachings is he has a teaching of leniency regarding divorce, which is different than what uh, Rabbi Shammai will have. And uh, Rabbi Hillel, is a major influence in the development of the oral law. The oral law will become written down uh, later, long after uh, Rabbi Hillel's death. It will be called the Mishnah, and that's going to be on our timeline a little bit later. Now, Rabbi Hillel founded a school of thought called the House of Hillel, and what's important in that house, there are disciples in that house. So Rabbi Hillel will teach these people, and these people uh, follow his thought. That's why it's called a house, because there are disciples there. And in a general sense, he is in opposition to the teachings of Rabbi Shammai. Now, this is important because these are the two major sages, Rabbi Hillel, Rabbi Shammai. Shammai we're going to look at in our next segment. But this is our first sage, Rabbi Hillel, who does a major teaching about the Torah, what it means and its applications and he will work primarily from what is called the Tanakh and we're going to put that on our timeline and its development here in a few segments. This is important, this is impressive and it is in contrast a little bit to what Jesus will be teaching and we'll look at that here in just a couple of segments. 